Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Hey, how are you, Walter? <laughs> a little tired, teacher. Yesterday, uh, I had to work. And tonight, and, and, and the night. At night? At night, yes. Yesterday. What about uh, today? Hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. What about tonight? Oh my God. Do you have to work uh, tonight? Yes. Oh, okay. At the moment, not sure. Oh, okay, not, not right now, okay. No, and yesterday. Yesterday you had to work, not today, okay. That's good. Hey, Pamela, good evening. Hi, hello, good evening. Okay, what's up with you? I mean, your microphone, your camera. <laughs> uh, the last time that I tried, I really have, uh, I really don't know what happened, but uh, the app doesn't um, work, uh, no. Yeah. Don't find no, don't doesn't allow. No, nah, yeah, to me that and I talk it with the English corporativo and you, they send me a, a link. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good to have you back. Where's yeah. Kenny? <laughs> Kenya, Kenya was here. I don't know what happened to um, her. Okay, let's just wait a little bit. You may start the class if you want. Okay, you may start a conversation if you want. Hello, good evening, Carlita, how are you? Hello, teacher and good. Good to hear. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Veronica, where is Kenny? Kenny was here and then she got disconnected. Hey, Nelson, good evening. Edwin, say hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, you know what? Um, while we wait for the rest, let me start with a question. Hmm. 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 Okay, the question will be because we have to start applying tonight's topic. Um, no, have you ever, have you ever dreamed about, about being muted? Okay, let's start talking about your fears. Have you ever dreamed about being muted? Have you ever dreamed about being muted? You know, for example, me, I was like 12, I will say 12 years old. Um, and I never forget that time when I dreamed that something was coming on the living room. And in my house in Santa Ana, there are some claraboyas, you know, some entrances where the light comes through like this. And then something was walking, something was walking in, in the middle, right? Right in the middle, something was passing through like that. 
So I was scared. I was dreaming. And I didn't know that I was dreaming. I, it was uh, it was a lucid dream. It was a lucid dream. Okay. And the problem was that I couldn't, I couldn't speak. I was trying, I was trying to yield. I was trying to yield, you know, at, at my dad, you know, like ah, dad, but I couldn't talk. I was muted. Have you ever dreamed about being muted? I'm sorry. What? No. Yeah, that's the right thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Have you ever dreamed about being muted? Like you cannot speak? Somebody. I always uh, confuse this, this word. Yield with jilt. Uh huh. Teacher, I I never have have dreams, or at le least I don't remember them. But but I speak asleep. Really? Yeah. yeah, frequently, because my husband. Uh, says that he asked me any question and I answer, but I am sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I hear the secrets that you keep <laughs> when you're talking into sleep. I hear yeah. secrets that you sleep. I mean, I, I do that. I, I do my, that. My, my Which, another problem is I sleep mm. in one minute, for example. When I put my head in the pillow, pillow. pillow I am asleep. I'm gone. Repeat, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. You're gone in, in a minute. Yeah. But it is good. That, that's really good. It means that you will go to heaven. Yeah. That's what it means. You have no worries. You have no worries. You have no problems. You are not a sinner because you can fall asleep like a baby. And uh, not or it's possible that she has control teacher. She has control. <laughs> Man. She had control. Maybe possible. Let's see if you can. Um, Good uh, <laughs> I have, uh, uh, I remember uh, that two or three years ago, uh, come here Peter Albeiro in a in a presentation. He's a he's a he's a comic, a comedian, um, comedian. Yes, mm -hmm. my hus my husband. Colombian. In, yes, Carita. invited me to sh to see the show. Was funny because I uh, I was asleep during all show. <laughs> Wow. Yes. So, so you have never dreamed about um, being muted, you know, like you don't remember your dreams. That's good. Oh, well, no, nah, nah, it's, yeah. not, it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm using today's topic. Today's topic is special expressions followed by gerunds. Special expressions followed by gerunds. And that, that's gonna, it's gonna be a great topic for us to practice, but I want to give you a gift. Who who goes to bed and puts the earphones, you know, the earplugs on your ears and falls asleep listening to music? Do you listen to music to, to sleep, to fall asleep? Someone, no? Me sometimes. You sometimes? 
Yeah. So you may know about this song. Wait a minute. Um, Queen's Richie, Silent Lucidity. Queen's Richie, Silent Lucidity. I'll, I'll send you the, the name exactly here. And just want to, yeah, let me make sure I got it right. Yep, that's the one. It's, it's a beautiful song from the 80s. And I remember it because Anaselmi said, dream control, dream mm -hmm. control. And that's what the, what the video is about. That's what the song is about, how to control your own sleeping rhythm. It's, it's very interesting. When I was a kid, I used to listen to this song to go to bed, to fall asleep. So have you ever dreamed about being muted have you ever dreamed about flying uh-huh have you ever dreamed lying to you no 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 flying ah flying oh, fly. yes, like yes. like a bird uh, you yes. lying to you I <laughs> used to lying to you. <laughs> yes i used to dream I used to feel like I, that I can fly. I believe I can fly. <laughs> yes. With that song in the background. Okay. Yeah. Depends how many hours. <laughs> so many hours. But do you know what's funny? I, I always dream that I'm flying, but jumping from one building to another. Yeah, Ooh. like Spider-Man. <laughs> like jump. No, no, no. Like jumping. And suddenly yeah. you feel that you have jumped yeah. too high. Yeah. Yes. And then you wake up. It's like, Yes, it's oh and, and the funny thing, the funny thing is that you go like, man, I was about to fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so funny. Okay. All the time I was wondering, what does it mean? What does, does it mean? mean? No, it means yeah. nothing. You know, know, you know, you know what happens when you have lucid dreams? Yes. What? What? Happens? what happens? You don't know. No. no, that's the fourth, the fourth stage of your brain, of your body. I'm sorry, the fourth stage of your body. Your brain, your brain releases a chemical that forces mm -hmm. you to be in shock. You are totally frozen. And the problem is that you're having dreams and this chemical prevents you from falling from the bed. So it, it stops you from falling from bed. It stops you from peeing in your bed. So your brain controls you when you fall asleep. And it, it, it goes like, let's play a movie. Okay, let's play a movie while, she, while we regenerate. Because that's what happens when you sleep. You regenerate your cells. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. But it's a is, that is the reason? The why is very important for the children. They they must uh, have the enough sleep. Enough sleep yeah. to, to sleep enough. To, yes, to, need a to sleep enough to for sleep adults enough. for adults too. Yes, yeah, but in the case of the children. In the case of children. The, in the case of children. Mm -hmm. uh, in that moment, they grow up. They are growing, yeah. Growing. It's part. It's growing. part of their. It's part of their growing. That's and true. You know, teacher, that when the person have a, a dream, dream, is a deep the escape of the of the dream. It's the mm -hmm. deep. It, that's the deepest stage. Deep step. Yes. Of, of yes. slipping. Yes, yes. It's so deep. It's good. Yes. The problem is that if you have two crazy dreams, two lucid dreams, you uh, definitely yes. you definitely fall from from it. Uh, my brother, exactly. my, my brother had my brother had such a lucid dream when we were kids. <laughs> I never forget that. Because it was very dark, but it, he woke me up. He woke me up because he woke up from bed like this. Like 
erguido, right? He, he woke up standing up and he started running towards the, the, the wardrobe. My, my grandma had a big wardrobe, you know, very old wardrobe. And, and he, he hit the wardrobe. Oh! And he fell on the, on, the, on the floor and he started crying, right? And in the, night, in the middle of the night, you know, it was so dark. And I, I turned on the, the light and he was crying on the floor. What happened to you? Man, a dog, a dog was chasing me. I swear. Teacher, and I have a curious fact. I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious about something. Curious about something. Uh -huh. In my case, you know, I I am twin. Oh, really? And, yeah, you tell me. You tell me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I was child. A child? Mm-hmm. Um, my twin sister and me, we had, uh, we had the same dream, mm -hmm. the same dream. Uh, and not, not the same night. The, the, sa yeah. the same, the, the same, same night? night, the same dream. And both we, we, you woke, woke up. up, we Sweating. woke up and what? Yeah. It what happened. Uh, it, 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 very curious. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did that come true? Did that? Did it come true? Did it come true? Se okay. volvió realidad? No. No, teacher. No, but it. it no, we were doing. Nightmare. nightmare. Oh, it was a nightmare. Okay. <laughs> but very complicated and it was like, No, we, we, we were dreaming with, no, no, with, with Johnny no, Depp, teacher. you know, and. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. No, teacher. Okay. Man, so sad. Oh, I have had that situation twice in my life. Uh, my wife has, has had, my wife had had, had dreams. Um, for example, once she dreamed that an airplane was a, was crashing on the Telefonica Tower in Salvador del Mundo. Okay, she was she was standing on the other side where where Taka was before. You know, you know that part. The Taka pub, the Spanish el chino. Now is when now is McDonald's. Uh huh. She was standing there, and she was looking towards the, the tower because she knew. On in her dream, she knew that I was working in that tower, and she dreamed that an aircraft crashed again the towers. That was back in 2004, and in 2005, guess what happened? I started working for an airline in that building. <laughs> I was like, what? what was that? <laughs> it was so weird. So weird. Okay, guys. Uh, before Teacher, we, yeah, yeah. How did? How do you say? Uh, the future. She's. She foreseen the future. She foresaw the future. She foresaw uh, the future. She foresaw the future. Teacher, okay. is is how this uh, is the same to say uh, premonition? Pre a premonition. Premonition. Very good. Uh -huh. She's. She had a premonition. <laughs> she, That's right. Vivente, teacher. <laughs> Yeah, for real, for real. And, and she dreamed something else later. I can't remember. For see, for so, for seen. Mm -hmm. Interesting verb. Before we move on, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Cameras, please. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. There you are. Thank you. Ana Salmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. Good. Enjoy. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. That's, relax, man. Swallow. Okay. <laughs> Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can hear you. What happened to you? I I don't have the internet in my house right now. Yeah, yes. and I'm, yes. I'm vacations. <laughs> no. Really? Are you going to the <laughs> site? 
I don't know. I will talk about that tomorrow with my supervisor because it just happened and until now I cannot even get connected um by phone with Claro. So I don't know what's oh going on. Oh my god, I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. <laughs> and and you for you, that's great. Okay. <laughs> Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Rosalena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. I think I thought I saw Sandra somewhere. I thought I saw. I thought I saw. No. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Go. Good evening. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Not here today. Okay. Awesome. We're only missing three of you guys, Sandra, Susana, and Wilfredo. Welcome to the ones that were missing some classes. So I will split you just for 10 minutes or eight, eight minutes until 8.30. What's the question that you must use? You have to ask to your classmates, have you ever dreamed about? And then you need to use a gerund. If you have been coming to classes, you will understand. If you haven't, ask your classmates, okay? Have you ever dreamed about da 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 da? Okay, like this. Look at your chat in Zoom. Have you ever dreamed about running, sleeping, kissing, hugging, killing? <gasps> have you ever dreamed about killing someone? Oh my God. Okay. So, have you ever dreamed about doing an exposition on the front of your class and you're naked? <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, let's go in small groups. Please participate with your classmates. Let's go. I have a problem because I uh, never remember my dreams. It's possible your your dream, no, you sleep, sleep in super superficial level. Yeah, it's the same in my case. <laughs> I I have a question for you. Have okay. you ever dreamed about um, this fallout? Me, no. <laughs> this fallout? This, uh, this kind of dream have a, a main other dream in my case is have you ever the other question is have you ever dream about the you you are doing a test but you didn't study no only me. no <laughs> I'm sorry, I am crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in, in my dream, the test is math, but the math, the the algebra, how do you say it? Algebra in English. Arithmetic. Uh, arithmetic uh, is it's easier. Uh, <laughs> it's but the case of. In the, oh, in el velorio, but it's safe. Oh in the funeral? God. The yes. funeral, yeah. Funeral. The funeral. This oh my funeral. God. Oh my I, God. I watch all people because I I fly in the in the in the sky. I watch in the uh, apps all people in the dog. 
you fly and you see all the people. Uh, you can see your body. <laughs> yeah. Oh really? my God. Yes. <laughs> I, I watch so weird, my, right? my help in, in the, the parrotry. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And the, co the coffee. Coffee? The, the coffee. Co I think co coffee. Coffee? Yeah. Coffee? Coffee? Yeah. Coffee, I, yeah. Coffee. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! It's curious, you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> but 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 in the in the moment in the the funeral, in the in the helps in cemetery. Yes. Yeah. Oh cemetery. 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 It, it, it is cemetery. Cemetery. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Pause. 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 <laughs> cemetery. Terry. Cemetery. 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 Uh, 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 there, there is no cemetery. No. Cemetery. Cemetery. Uh, uh, forget about the N. Olvídense de la N. Cemetery. Cemetery. Uh, uh, when did in la N? Cemetery. Cemetery. <laughs> yes. In, in this moment, I wake up in the end of the dream. I woke up, woke up, woke up. Woke up. Oh my God, it was a... Yes. Oh my God, no. It's very real. Yes. I was younger. I have, I, okay, I have, I have, I have ever dreamed, dreamed about swim, swing, swimming, swimming, swimming. And in the middle of the ocean, but with a, a high wave. And the wave doesn't, um, oh my God, how do you say, sumergir me? Sink Yeah, me. I, sink, sink me. Sink. Okay, sink. Okay, it, it was uh, for me. The... And I have this dream so frequently. Mm. Um, Recur it, recurring dreams, maybe is the name. Yes, name. yes, it's a, yeah, it's a recurring dreams. Really? Oh God, yeah. And I say, oh my God, what is that? And I can't swim. I can't. <laughs> but in the dream, it not nothing happened to me. <laughs> when when you dreaming of it, when the I don't know what, what do you say. Uh, Relacionado with the water. It's maybe, related to the water. Yes, maybe it's because you have uh, in the day you have an ansier, ansier, ansier. anxious, anxious. Maybe could it yes. be? Could it be? Maybe. Yes. maybe. You're anxious, or you are, or you have anxiety. You're anxious. You have anxiety, maybe. Because anxious, that's good. Go ahead. Because the Please. dreams is the continued is continuing the day. Could it be? Yes. That's the way. That's the way. Sometimes mm -hmm. I put my earphones here, earphones, ah. and I listen to music, relaxing to sleep. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I feel so anxious and I can sleep. Yes, and that's the way I put my. I put music and I listen relaxing music. <laughs> it's the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is very real. And you are yeah. there. The game fall, falls down. And I was very scared because you know I I I was I was dreaming me to write this game, but actually it was it, 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 it turned to a, uh, a nightmare because it fell down. And then when I was I was going down, I wake up. <laughs> I don't know if I die. <laughs> you woke up, you woke up. I woke up. I will, you always to tell me that word and I forgot. To yeah, say I woke it. up, I woke up. Mm -hmm. Woke up, woke up. Mm -hmm. It's different between when you work out, and you do exercise. Mm -hmm. It's different, right? The pronunciation. Work out, work out. Uh, work, work out, okay. mm -hmm. work up. Okay. Yeah. Wake, walk, 
woken. <clears throat> it's just a verb. We, uh, wake, woke, woken. It's like like the song, right? Like, do you ever hear the song "Wake Me Up When September Ends" mm -hmm. from Blink One Eighty Two? I think. Nah. Right? Oh, come on! Uh, really? No. How do you say sacrilegio in English, Wilfredo? Um, I, I don't know, teacher. I've never heard really? this word. Do you have the time to listen to me well? Green Day. Ah, uh, Green Day. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That that's the kind of music that you gotta listen, guys, to wake up. Does I feel my... Okay, so what was the toughest the toughest question that you made? You know what? Let's do a quick exercise with this group because I have the best speakers in this group here. Let's see. So go to your Zoom chat. I'm gonna start with Pamela. Can you read these four words? The four. Uh terrible nightmare anxious and anxious thing okay <laughs> gabriela alejandra try uh, okay uh, terrible nightmare anxious uh, uh, <laughs> anxious <laughs> really <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay wilfredo try <laughs> Mm, terrible, nightmare, anxious, <laughs> and I, I don't know the picture how, okay. how I can pronounce this. Word. Edwin. Uh, terrible, nightmare, anxious, anxiety. Oh, very close. Let's see, Kenya, teach. <laughs> oh, <I> know. <laughs> you know, you know, come on, you can do it. Teach us. It is terrible, <laughs> nightmare. Anxious <laughs> anxiety. You got it. Anxiety. Anxiety. Okay. It's not easy. That's not an easy word. Inside anxiety. anxiety. And yes, you say ter terrible. Terrible. Nightmare. Nightmare. Anxious. Anxious. Yes. And anxiety. 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 It's not a it's not an easy word. Anxiety. The last one. <laughs> Man, I feel anxiety right now when you when you try to pronounce that word anxiety and shady. Anxiety. Anxiety. Yeah. Anxiety. It's different, right? Anxiety. Anxiety. You see, anxiety, anxiety is really difficult. I okay, let's go back. This is an interesting topic. Let's go back. Okay, let's wait for the others. Meanwhile, do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? I am one of those melodramatic fools, neurotic to be to the bone. Don't bother. No, well, well, I got stuck. I'm down about it. Sometimes I hit, wait. Sometimes I give myself to the creeps. I need glasses. <laughs> Man, when I was younger, I used to read these lyrics like really fast. And I, I I I remember I could play this. I could play this on the guitar. I remember it was a long time ago. Okay. So we're back. What was the funniest have you ever dreamed about question? that you made on your group or the most common? What was the funniest have you ever dreamed about question that you made on your group or the most common? The most funny dream for me is the sister-in-law of Wendy. <laughs> she dream about she dream about Chayang. 
Chayanne singing a song. Chayanne was singing a song. Oh my God. So she the question really, is, have you ever dreamed was, about Chayanne singing? Uh huh. No, no, I don't have the. How do you say the lucky? I'm not. I'm not that lucky. Repeat, repeat. Yeah, I'm not that I'm lucky. I'm not that lucky. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, not that, that lucky. I'm not that lucky. <laughs> so sad. Imagine. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you didn't get it, si no lo entendieron, esto era lo que les estaba preguntando. Very good, Rosalena. What was the funniest have you ever dreamed about? Okay, and that's the question. Question. You um, had in your group. I think I, that's what I said. I ate the R, there you go. Okay, so this is what I was asking you. Try to use this, try to use this. What was the funniest? Have you ever dreamed about question you had in your group? What was the funniest I never fall video that you have seen in on YouTube? Well, what is the funniest I never fall video that you've seen on video on youtube do you understand i'm not asking you what is what what is the funniest program what is the funniest show uh what was the funniest you got the point right it's just a whole sentence a whole topic a whole topic in the middle of a question okay good think about it think about it i'm sorry guys i'm hyper right now so bear with me okay Let's continue. So, anything else? Nobody else? What was the, the one that got the most answers? What was the most common question? And you know, the one that everybody answered. A cual contestaron todo después? I have to take the Salvadorian out. No. Have you ever dreamed that you're getting married? I'm sorry, that's not a dream. It's a, it's a nightmare, right? <laughs> Come on, guys. Wake up. Okay. Married with me, Miguel? Maybe, but. <laughs> Still? Still? Yes. With my husband. No, no, it's not for no, you. Still not. It's not for you. <laughs> it's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> really, Luis? Me? Oh no, my God. No, nowadays, no. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. It's too old. Con la the misma de ayer, <laughs> incondicional. <laughs> yeah, the, man. But he had good, great boys when he was a, a teenager. Yes, that's the way that man. I love it. <laughs> He has talent, teacher. When he when that's, his teeth, one teeth was here and the other teeth was here. That's the way that I'm falling in love with him. <laughs> you fell in love with him. Yeah. Oh, come on, Rosalina, really? <laughs> that's good. Okay, so if you know it, guys, thank you. Thank you for the laughing. That's really good. Okay, if you noticed, we're using um, the same topic, right? Expressions with gerunds common expressions so for our next act someone a little bird a little bird told me that yesterday's activity was was very interesting actually and i agree with her so let's see if we can continue with that just for a little bit here together no 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 you know what no 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 this is boring if we stay here all muted i i prefer to have you working in groups so you can uh, you know get the job done together what are we doing we're doing this okay let's see who does it first look at your chat in zoom open your zoom chat Open your Zoom chat. 
Don't use the translator, please. No ocupen el traductor de Google, por favor. That's a, that's, that's a trampa. Okay, no, no cheating. Okay, one, two, three. Translate. Ella está emocionada por ir a la fiesta. Hmm. Don't cheat. Just type it, type it, type it, type it, type it, type it, type it. Oh, Rosalinda, very close. Think about the topic, think about the topic. Ella está emocionada. Adoendo, ido. She's excited to go to the party. Pamela, very close. That's closer than Rosalena. She is excited. Uh huh. She's so excited. I, did, I didn't say tan emocionada. She's so excited to go to the party. Come on, guys. What's the topic? Uh uh. It doesn't say ella estaba emocionada. Ada Patricia. She is excited to go to the party very close. She's ex so excited. Uh, wait. Uh, there's something missing. Preposition, Rosalena. Preposition. She's so excited going to the party. She's excited for going to the party. Kenya, close. Change the preposition. Change the preposition, it's not for. Susana, Susana. I guess Susana's wife, I mean, husband must, must sing that song every time. She's excited to go in. No, I cannot say to go in. Of going to the party. <laughs> Change the preposition. Think about the preposition. It's not for two. Come on, guys. She's excited. Okay, let me give you a clue. And Aselmi and Kenya are very close to the answer. There you go. She is excited about going to the party. You got it, Kenya. Now, this is what I want you to do in small groups, okay? See who gets the right answer really quick with the few sentences that I will give you. Now, this is just to practice, just to practice. I want you to think about something. Some, well, no, definitely. I mean, the translation of the words is very similar from Spanish to English, for example emocionada okay emocionar emocioné emocionado emocionaré right so think about what's the conjugation of the verb and then there you go you move on with the rest so what we're studying is common phrases now remember you have one verb and then ing okay think about it ese verbo puede ser en su forma base o no Okay, so let's go for it. I'll send you the, no, I'll send the, the things right now, hold on. Okay, I'm sending the phrases here in the Zoom chat and I'm sending them on the WhatsApp too, okay? I'm gonna give you some time so you can go on your groups. Let's recreate. Somos cuatro grupos de tres a cuatro personas cada uno. Nadie se queda aquí. Please, let's go. Let's go, Walter, Gloria. 
So nice. Did you work today? Yes, I have a, a day very, very tired. Busy. Day was busy. Busy? Yes. Okay, Walter is here Hello. too. Hi, Walter. Hi. Okay. Vine tarde, no entendí qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Vamos a, a pasar la ah, oración okay. de español en inglés. Sí, vea. Yes, yes, yes. We must translate the sentence. Okay, the first, no me preocupa perder mi trabajo. I don't care losing my job. Maybe I don't care losing my job. I don't know. Lost my job. Losing. No. What do you think? Um, for me, it's I don't care losing my job. I don't. I don't. I don't care. Losing my job. I don't care. Play the song. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you remember? Vos no trabajaste, ahora bien feliz andamos. No, hombre, no estaba durmiendo hace un rato. <laughs> I don't care. Could you text? Yes, I, I, I don't care losing or could be lose if, lose my job. I don't care. I lose. think is uh, losing, losing losing my work. Uh, it I, could I, be a uh, uh, I'm not worried. So, worry I uh, don't, about I, I losing don't my job. I uh, don't not worry and losing my job. About losing my job. Ah, okay. How do you say, Gabi? Okay. Uh, I'm not worried worried uh, about losing my job. Okay. 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 The second. Okay. Second is a. Uh... The next is, no somos responsables de tratar las quejas de los clientes. We are responsible to lead or, or, or to, no, how, how do you say, tratar? Attend, maybe, de atender. Attend, could be. Uh -huh. We are responsible to, to, um, We are not we responsible to. We are not responsible. We are, we are not re responsible. We are not responsible. Mm. We are not responsible. We aren't. Uh -huh. we, yeah, aren't. we are not responsible. Data. Quejas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, we are not responsible. Man, 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 
it's tratar is more like try, but um, that right. mm -hmm. is the correct context. Context. Mm -hmm. uh, deal. Mm, let me see. They are okay. We are not responsible. They are. Acuerdo. Trato. Yeah. Repeat. They are. Deal. 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 Mm -hmm. deal or not deal? Deal Trato or not deal? Trato. Deal. <laughs> deal done. Trato hecho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. We are okay. not responsible to... Mm. For... Mm -hmm. For... 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 ING? Deal. 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 Dealing, uh -huh. for dealing, dealing, dealing. with, okay. with? Okay. so it's with complaints of the customers, no clients, mm. co uh, customer compliment, customer complaints, uh huh, we are not responsible for dealing with customer complaints. There you go. There you go, good job. Now focus on two things. What's the main verb? And then you have a preposition and then the next verb with ing. In this example, it was responsible. It was responsables and to, to or for dealing, right? For dealing, responsible for dealing. Responsable de tratar. So if you got you get that part, you got it. Let, let's see the next example. Ella está interesada en unirse a nuestra empresa. Hmm. So what's the main verb? Unirse. Unirse. Or adjective in this case, right? Está. She Star, is. okay, she is. Uh -huh. Interested. Very good, interested. In. Perfect. In joining. Perfect. In joining, very good. Uh huh. Join our company. Totally, Gloria. Yes, our company. Okay. There you go. She's interested in joining our company. You got it. Very good, girls. Keep going. Yeah. Okay, number four. Fue acusado de robar un, le un reloj. Mm -hmm. Not, we mm -hmm. are not responsible. We are not responsible for dealing with customer complaints. For dealing. Mm -hmm. For and dealing, dealing what? Is, 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 is the general of, for dealing. of the sentences. The customer complaints. Mm -hmm. okay. I will write it down. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're number two? Yes. Yes, teacher. Wow. Yes, teacher, but you it's are... huge, please. Yes. No, yeah, but focus on two things. Let's see. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, no somos responsables de tratar las quejas de los clientes. Okay. What is the main verb after the verb to be? I mean, what is the main verb? For me, it's treating. Tratar. Treat. Treat? Treat? No. No. The main verb. Mm -hmm. Because if you remember the topic, we have a verb and then the ing verb. Yeah, we are responsible. Responsible. Are responsible. responsible. Mm -hmm. So what preposition can you use after responsible? Can you say responsible of? Responsible about? About responsible, where are my other fingers? Oh my God, wait. Oh, for? Okay. For, there you go. Okay, so responsible for, how do you say uh -huh. tratar in English? Treat. Treat? Yeah. What about Treat? the suit, the suitcases? Deal or no deal? Oh, okay, deal. Deal, ah, deal. Ah, deal. deal. Ah, deal right, deal, deal, deal. deal. It was suggest. just a deal. deal. Mm -hmm. So listen. Yeah. So we are not responsible for dealing. For dealing. Dealing. For dealing. Customer complaints. Uh, uh, next proposition. Next proposition. The customer complaints. For dealing. 
With. With, with. great, Wendy, with. Now, how do you Customer. say quejas de los clientes? Complaints. 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 Customer. Did you say it? Customer, customer compliance. Customer complaints. Complaints. There you go. So we are not responsible for dealing with customer complaints. Number two complete teacher number. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about number three? Let's continue. What what's what's the main verb she, and ella está interesada en unirse a nuestra empresa? She is interested. Interesting. Interesting. Enjoying. In wait. Enjoying. What? Uh -huh. Enjoying. 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 Our company. There our you go. Company. Company. Our company. Our company. Not two, but our. Not two. Mm -mm. Our company. Joining mm -hmm. our company. Ah, oh, okay. Our company. She's, she's interested in joining. Join. 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 Uh, join. 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 Y ese es el punto, tener, o sea, tienes un verbo principal que en este Ajá. caso sería interesada, ¿ok? Luego tenemos una preposición en, esa está bien clara. No, el siguiente verbo va con ING. Ajá, ajá. Dice, okay. dice, esa le iba a preguntar, dice, ¿cómo, cómo diferenciar el, el que se lleva el ING y el que no lleva el ING? Correcto. El in the doping web. <risa> Por ejemplo, the next, I think it's easy. Fue acusado de robar el reloj. Mm -hmm. He was accused for, wrong, for stealing for the what? Stealing. Of? Stealing. Of, mm -hmm. of stealing the watch. You got it. Mm -hmm. yeah, Simple. It you got it. Okay. Keep okay. going. I am uh, I'm not here. I'm not here. Okay. You're not here, teacher. <laughs> Is next to the preposition in the the verb i add yeah. in the e. In that case, the verb is row uh, still still. Uh, how do you what? say the? How do you say fue acusado de robar reloj? Uh, he was accused. Ah, uh, he was accused. Okay. Accused, accused. Is the part? He was accused. Accused. Just stealing the watch. He was accused. Accused. We will be. Oh my God. We will be. 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 We We will be. We We will be. We to managing, manage to managing, to management, to managing the, 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 the double of data, of double of data, data after, after, after that the, that the new system was implemented, implement, <laughs> of implementing the mm. new system, in the que se implemente. El doble de datos. We are. Seremos capaces de manejar el doble de datos después de que se implemente el nuevo sistema. We will be available. We will be available. Vamos a traducir esta oración. We will be managing. We will be. The twice. No. Double. Double. Twice. Double. Double data. After. Después de que se implemente. Después de that. After. It's implemented. Implement. Después no, de que se implemente. Uh -huh. after, that, after the new system was implemented for me. Fue implementado. No, que se implemente. After no, the new system. After the new system. Implemented. Implement. Will be. Will be. <laughs> podría. Podría ser implementado. No, no it's the other. Uh, the other idea de que se implemente the new system that mm -hmm. that the new system after the new system implement que se implement after we um, it's a sentence um, the double we can use double 
the, the data? No. We will be able to... No. Mm -hmm. The data after... No. After... When? No. Uh, oh? Yes. After the new system is... Uh, uh, after after, after to, to implement the new the new system. system. Implemented. Ah, the teacher yeah. said implemented. Implemented. Uh, implementation. Uh, implemented. <laughs> the new system. The new I have a doubt with double the double data is correct so we will be able to handle the double data later implemented the new system I cannot hear you teacher I'm sorry we will be capable of we will be capable of handling capable. capable. Here, we will be capable, see, of handling twice as much data after the new system is implemented, but you were very close. Twice. Uh, yeah. It's twice data in. Double no, okay. Ahora, ¿en qué nos estamos enfocando? Y es lo que vamos a ver ahorita que regresemos. Tengo que buscar el verbo principal y luego viene una preposición y luego el ING. Por ejemplo, en esta oración, seremos, para empezar, seremos es we, right? Mm -hmm. Y en futuro mm -hmm. ser, en futuro seremos will be, right? Mm -hmm. Will be. We will be, seremos. Next, el siguiente es un verbo, capaces. Okay, we will, capaz, so capable, capaz. Can mm -hmm. I say able? Yes, you can say able too. Okay, mm -hmm. we will be capable or able. El siguiente, y aquí viene la cosa, de manejar. Hay una preposición de, y dijimos que en ING, manejar. So, of handling okay and that's the most important part of the sentence we will be capable of handling now let's figure out the others el doble de datos i could say double the data or twice the data twice as much data okay de que se implemente en los, uh, el doble de datos después after later afterwards yeah, what sounds better? After the new system is implemented. Okay, good job, Gabriela. Good job on that part. Susana was disconnected. Okay, keep going. I think you're still missing some, right? Ella es incapaz de sentir pena. Come on, guys. Did you get it? Right, it's easy, right? Okay. okay. She is feeling Incapable of feeling of feeling chai no como se dice pena chai chai hey cham cham ashamed is Shame. 
avergonzado. Oh. Teacher, ¿cuál es la diferencia de, de decir reloj de puño, reloj de pared? ¿Qué más? ¿Hay alguna diferencia? Ahorita, wrist. Oh, this is a difficult word. Wrist, 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 wrist. Wrist, 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 wrist. Watch. Okay, wristwatch. Wristwatch. Okay. Ah, okay. And the uh, wall watch or just the watch? Do you have a watch in your wall? Yeah. So if you say watch, it's in your wall. But the wristwatch. Wristwatch. Reloj de, reloj de puño. Oh, okay. actually, Brit Britons, some Britons say fist watch. Because because wrist is too difficult, so they say fist, puño, right? Fist watch, yes. Fist watch. But the right thing is wrist watch, wrist watch, wrist watch. Difficult. Okay. Wrist watch. Mm -hmm. okay. Where are you? Uh, you're with. Uh, ella es incapaz de sentir pena, right? Yeah. Uh, She's incapable of feeling shame. No, shame. 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 Mm. Sorry. She's incapable of feeling sorry. I feel sorry for you. I so okay. only sorry. Just sorry. Yeah. That's right. Feeling. Okay. I feel sorry for you. Okay. Number seven. I am tired of work here. I of ah, work of, here. Ah, in ah, here. Of working here. That's working the whole point. Here. Excellent. Excellent. Bien, como les decía, creo anteriormente. Entonces, estamos notando algo. Estoy. Ahí tengo dos cosas. I am. Uh -huh. Okay. Cansado, ado, edo, ido. Eso está en pasado participio. Mm -hmm. Cansado, tired. Ok, I'm tired. Tengo una preposición, of. Y ahora, como dice la regla, estamos viendo que después de un verbo como tired, viene un gerundio. I'm tired of working here. Okay. I'm tired of working here. Ok, thank you, number. Eight. Next one is very similar. Estoy acostumbrado a trabajar en una gran corporación. I am not. I am not. I am not. I am not used. Uh -huh. I am not used. Use, sir. Use working. Used to, to work, to work, to work. Excellent. I'm not used to working. A big, a big corporation. Corporation. To working at a large corporation, at a big corporation. That's right. Good job, Carla. You really like this. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. Okay. Hurry up. We're almost done. Okay, thank you. Always number nine. Always. Siempre me comprometí a dar lo mejor. Okay. I, I, Was I here before? I can't remember if I came to this room before. No, right? Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Sorry. <laughs> so, what are you up to? Hmm. What are you? <laughs> okay, I think um, I have a question um, about seremos capaces. As, as far as I know, 
it should be like will be able right like be able mm -hmm. okay. now what what comes after able or capable we will be capable we will be able to of about from for mm. <laughs> i put it in here we will be able to be handling mm, you don't need the b Mm. Yeah, there, there's no verb to be de manejar. We will be able of. That sounds weird. We mm. will be capable of mm. handling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll be ca capable of handling um the double data or double data after the new system. It's um implemented you got it implemented. yeah uh, yeah double the data double the data or data Oops. Okay. yeah double the data after the new system is implemented so here uh, aquí lo que se tienen que enfocar es en dos cosas uno cuál es el verbo principal eh, para empezar dijimos seremos ahí tengo varias cosas solo con decir seremos tengo we seremos este en futuro So, debería ocupar will, right? We will. Ahora, estoy hablando de ser, o sea, el verbo to be. We will be. Hasta ahí llevo, seremos. We will be. Ahora, how do you say capaces? Capable, ok. Ese es mi verbo. Capable, capaz. Ok. De manejar. De una preposición. Y manejar, que es lo que estamos viendo, va a ir con la ing. Capable of handling. Ese el doble, twice, double, two times. There are many options. Hay muchas opciones para decir doble. Ok. Y así pasaría. Una pregunta, uh -huh. teacher. Sí, Adita. Este, y en los verbos, eh, se, en este caso, no siempre se tiene que poner el tú antes del verbo. Exacto. En este caso, handle, Exacto. handle, uh -huh. usted, me, usted está diciendo off. Yes, no, to handling. Of handling, that's right. Of o to? Of, of handling. De hecho, ninguno de los ejercicios que les he puesto lleva el to antes del verbo con uh -huh. ing. Ah, como no, hay uno. Es, I'm not used to working at a large corporation. No estoy acostumbrado a trabajar en una corporación grande, en una gran corporación. I'm not used to working, pero eso es porque las reglas se acuerdan, used to, used to mm -hmm. I'm not used to working, I'm not used to sleeping estar acostumbrado a algo esa es la única uh, oh no, también, I was always committed to doing my best committed, committed to, opposed to hay tres, yeah, sometimes you need to use to then used to, opposed to pero en ese caso creo que son bien específicos committed to Used to, a opposed, opposed to. Mm -hmm. Es así, necesitan que la preposición sea to y luego, aunque venga un gerundio. Okay, we're going to go back. It's 9.15 already. So let's go back. But I can't help falling in love with you. Mm -hmm. So you've been on vacations, Mrs. Lara. Miss Lara, I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, I think so. But it's not good at all because if I'm not having uh data by tomorrow maybe they will tell me to go there and i don't want to go there <laughs> yeah. i know traffic sucks i yeah. spent i spent an hour and a half today to go pick up my kids i live um around selectos mineral valle yeah right so i live around that area and i had to travel to salvador del mundo basically and and back 
I mean, it's a very short uh, mm -hmm. right way. It's a very short way, a short route. And, and it took me like, it took me like 15 minutes to go, to get to the school. Okay, and then coming back, that was terrible. I mean, <laughs> all because of the traffic at Salvador del Mundo. There were about 10 police officers from transit <laughs> doing nothing like that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Literally doing nothing. I mean, it's like they were doing this. They were doing this. <laughs> that's great. Like, guys, it's 9.17. Let's do the attendance really quick and move on. So we can hear your examples, your answers. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Your teacher. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Oh. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Excellent. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Sandra got disconnected, I think. I thought I thought I saw her, you know. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Oh no, it was Susana, yeah. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Thank you. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good job. Okay, so let me prepare something here really quick. Before getting your answers, I would like to um, share something with you really quick. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. No, it's not there. It's here. Okay, so we're studying common expressions, common expressions um, followed by ing, followed by an ing verb so where is the text in this thing hold on hold on wait a minute oh that's right pamela reminds me pamela reminds me to the daughter of will smith i can't remember her name now i know i can't remember shilo shilo that's her name <laughs> no, Willow. Willow. Something ah, like that. Willow. Man, but Willow. Who is Shilo? <laughs> yeah, who is Shilo? Willow is, is uh, the name of a dwarf in an 80s movie. Do you remember Wilfredo? Yes. Willow. Willow. Uh -huh. Yes. Rosalina? Yes. It's a movie. Yes, it's a movie. Here it is. Okay. What, what kind of movie? It, it's all. It's a med medieval movie, yeah. Medieval, yeah. yeah medieval like like movie. the rescue of the princess. Yes. Uh, the little person. Yeah, yes. a dwarf, a little person. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You, you you have to say little person, guys. It's, Don't pay attention. It's, it's a famous song. Really? The yeah. That Do you one. Remember the video? What yes. video? Hold on, wait a minute. What? Which one? No, the, the song they say is in Spanish is Quédate esta noche. Una oh, noche. yes. It's reference Wait. this movie. What? Oh, yeah. It's true. But, but, but that was in Spanish. The Spanish version yes. of, the, of the movie. Oh, my God, Susana, it's true. Yes. What was the name of that group, that band? Matricula Dos. Matricula <laughs> Really? Oh my God, we're so old. Ay, me dijo vieja. <laughs> we are old. I mean, think about it. What year is it? What 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 you year are is it? We're vintage. We're vintage. Okay, we're okay, vintage. I like it. Okay. 
<laughs> el uh, premio uh, de conservación. We, we, yeah, we are not antiques, we are vintage. I like that. Okay. Man, matricula 2 is from the 90s, right? Something like that. Wow. Okay. So in this lesson, we're supposed to learn about um, expressions with gerunds. And we need to put a noun after a preposition. And, and that's why, that is why, if you have noticed, these gerunds work as nouns, okay? And you noticed on this exercise, these phrases that you used right now were in that form. Okay, did, did you notice? Yes, we noticed. Oh my God, what am I doing? Hold on. I want this to be bigger. I'm so dumb, I'm sorry. Somebody's listening to TV and it's on, it's in English. I like that. Here it is. And I won't be able to, oh, oh, I gotta give them feedback. Look, I cannot see the numbers. Here, there you go. Okay, help me. So we have be excited about, did you use be excited about in any of the examples? I did, right? She is excited about. <laughs> She's excited about going to the party, remember? That's to be excited about. What about be worried about? Okay, second. Lucy and the Joe. Uh huh. What do you, What did you get? Oh my God. <laughs> oh. I. I'm not worried about losing my job. You got it. That's true. I'm not worried. Say worried. Worried. Not, I'm not worried about. Not worried. <laughs> worried. Yeah, worried. without without the eye sound. I'm not worried about. I'm not worried, worried. about. Right. Now put it together, Rosalina. I'm not worried about worried 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 about worried about worried about. There you go. I'm not, I'm not worried about losing my job. I'm not worried about losing my job. Okay. What about the next one? Be responsible for. Who got number three? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. A little less conversation, a little more action. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. Come on, guys. Don't make me sing like Elvis, please. Come on. Be responsible for. We are not. Excellent. We are not responsible for. Work daily, customer complaint. You got it, Walter. Dealing, dealing, dealing. yeah. Dealing. We are not responsible for dealing with customer complaints. Okay. For dealing. dealing. So in other words, in other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. Climb me to the moon. See? So <laughs> after the prepositions, you need the ing form. Let's continue. Be interested in, be interested, interested, interested. Don't forget about the. Um, is interested in joining to our company. She is interested in joining our company. Yep. Oh, my company. Okay. You got it, joining our company. That's right, in joining our company. So you have in as a preposition, okay? What's next? Be accused of. He was accused to stealing. Of stealing, very good. 
So again, he was accused. Repeat. Accused. There accused. you go. Perfect. Uh -huh. okay. He was, he accused. was accused, accused of stealing the watch. The watch. There you go. She was accused of stealing the watch. She was accused of stealing. Well, she was accused of stealing the watch. She was. He was accused of stealing the watch. He was accused of stealing the watch. Acuérdense que la repetición es la base para poder pronunciar bien. So repeat, repeat, repeat. Next, capable of. Be capable of. Anybody find me? It, it will be mm -hmm. capable of and handling, handling, and handling, handling, the, handling the W to data after the new system they implement. Okay, that's textually translated, but I will accept it. I will. You will be given to understand. The double of data once the new system, you said, yeah, the new system the is. double data after the new system. The, the double data. Mm, do you need the preposition of here? You see? The double of data once okay. the new system is installed. And yes, I will accept that. Or, or. Pay attention to this, everybody. You can um, forget about this too. The article and the preposition. Listen. Okay. We will be able, let's see, we will be capable of handling double the data. Double the data. Double the data once. You see? That's another option. You can say double the data once the new system is implemented una vez now on this example this was the most difficult example okay this one here was the most difficult example of the list i will say now una cosa cuando traducís todo tiene que ser textual Everybody. I like that song. Man, Christmas is coming. <laughs> it is near. It's near, dice la parte del celular. Oh my god, Wilfredo, qué oso. What's the song? What's the song name? I I I have a a I don't know, Moño Colorado. Yes. La del Moño Colorado. <laughs> Colorado. 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 Oh my God. It's buenos. okay. Hey, Christmas is, <laughs> Christmas is around the corner. And I, yes. I stopped uh, by the Salvador del Mundo and they already, they're already installing the, the tree. I mean, <laughs> wow. Really? My, yes. my children, my children, my children enjoy to go to, to, to see it. Or, or what? Yeah, it's too crowded. Yes, it's too crowded. My son too. In my in my, in my house is 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 Christmas <laughs> now. Really? Hey, but you know what? It's it's okay because that way you enjoy you enjoy more time. You know of the Christmas decorations. Yes, my my son have six years old. My son is have yes ah uh -huh. try it again. Try it again, Wendy. My son is. My son is six years old. Perfect. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. In my oh. in my house right now is Christmas. <laughs> he loves Christmas. That's awesome. For six months. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 that's too much. Okay. That's, that's too much. That's overreacting. Okay. Be incapable of being capable of. Uh -huh. 
Incapable to feeling. Okay, that's the point. Incapable of. Okay, of feeling. Mm -hmm. What? Pena, no encontré pena. O sea, no, no ubiqué la palabra. No encontró pena. pena. O sea, excelente. No, no, Donde fui no encontré pena y mi vida fue tan hermosa. Yeah, that, that's, that's a beautiful poem. <laughs> this play with you. She is incapable of feeling sorry. Hey, how else can you say pena? Uh -huh. Shame. Shame. Yeah. Ah, shame. Uh, shame. Shame of you. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> yeah. Shame on you. Oh, my God. Shame on you. <laughs> I think it is sorrow. Sorrow, mm, sorrow is more like sadness, and sorrow is the one on the movie. I feel sorrow. <laughs> what the what the remember Edwin? <laughs> I'm sorry, Edwin. So sorrow, sorrow te lo lleve, Wilfredo. <laughs> ah, Wilfredo, perdón. Okay, stop it, stop it. You're making me laugh too much. Okay, wait. She is incapable of feeling sorry. Um, what else? Sorry, sorrow. No, that's that's sadness of feeling sadness, feeling sorrow, uh, feeling shame. Oh my God, there's another word. Mm. You say embarrassing, como de vergüenza. Embarrassed of feeling embarrassed. De sentirse avergonzado. No, that, that's different. Mm. Pity. British. Let me let me check the spelling. Pity. Of feeling pity. Yeah, but that's lastima. It's not even pena. But what's the difference between pena and lastima? Pena is, is that I, I, I'm shy, right? I don't know, but in this context, they will mean the same. I feel, I feel sorry for you. I feel, oh, in a good, in a positive way. Listen to this. I feel sorry for you, for your loss, because your family member passed away. I feel sorry for you. Now, I feel pity for you. Oh my God. Siento lástima por ti. Se veía pesado, right? No, mm. empathy. It's, yeah. it's not, it's empathy. not empathy. Uh -huh. It's the opposite of empathy. It's, oh my it's, it's God. Denigrant. De, denigrant? Yeah, that's denigrant. Denigrant. denigrating. That's denigrating, yeah. Wow. Yo interpreto que es pena de sinvergüenza. Yeah. Yo creo que es más depende de eso, ¿no? Yes, exactly. De eso depende, sí, yeah. Wow, be careful, guys. Don't say I feel pity for you. I feel pity for you. I feel shame for you. No, that's not applicable. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. That's another thing. I am ashamed. Estoy avergonzado. Mm. For example, once Xavier Francisco, my son, stolen something from a supermarket and we realized when we came home and he was like five years old he was five years old and he stole in some candies from the supermarket and we realized when we got home mm -hmm. we went back to the supermarket and guess what since xavier francisco's dad o sea yo is crazy I talked to the security guard and I told him, tell him that you're taking him <laughs> to jail. And the security guard was like, vení bicho, te voy a llevar a la, a la, a la, a la pena, te voy a llevar a la, ¿cómo fue que le dijo? Porque se hablaba el vigilante. Te voy a llevar preso, le decía. Oh, oh, papá, me va a llevar este señor. Me. <laughs> Man, he never stolen anything in his life. Never, ever. He was crying. He was crying. He was worried. Oh my God, I'm going to jail. And he was fine. 
So it was better than regretting, right? It was better it, than regretting. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> no, why? <laughs> Because, because of his, because of the dad that he does talk <laughs> along with the, that was good okay but you're practicing that's good okay let's continue be tired of estoy cansado de trabajar aquí no I'm not okay but how do you translate that I'm, I'm tired to working here mm, and again tired to uh -uh, tired of working it's, here you got it i'm tired of working here simple i'm tired of working here there you go next be a cute be accustomed to you can say accustomed you can also say what the teacher taught you be used to mm -hmm. okay same thing be accustomed to be used to mm -hmm. so it was no estoy acostumbrado a trabajar en una gran corporación oh my god come on come on, come on. okay i'm just gonna go, move um, on okay uh-huh I'm not used to working for a big company. Yeah, oh. for for a big company at a large corporation. Oh, okay. Now, guys, focus on this. On this. Super rápido, porque me gustó que todos entendieron cuando les expliqué esto. El hecho de que después de ciertas preposiciones, voy a ocupar el verbo con ing y de eso trataba esta clase, de eso trataba esta clase. Frases que van definitivamente seguidas por un gerundio, right? So, principalmente tenemos frases que van con una preposición y luego el verbo con ing. Ok, be committed to. I was always committed to doing, ahora, eso suena hasta raro, pero sí. I was always committed to doing my best. ¿Por qué committed to y no committed uh, for doing? Que sería lo más gramaticalmente apropiado. Porque gramaticalmente también después de committed viene ese to. So I'm committed to working every day. I'm committed to of uh, doing three hours of overtime every day. That's me, every day I, I'm committed to do three hours at least. Committed to doing, committed to doing, committed to doing my, at least three hours. Okay, be opposed to, be opposed to, she's opposed to allowing people to own guns. I think nobody got this far, right? Did, did somebody got this far? ¿Alguien llegó tan lejos? Can you repeat, Edwin? She opposed to letting people have weapons or guns. I'm not following what you're saying after opposed to. Uh, no, letting. She opposed to allowing people uh, uh -huh, to own guns. To have guns. Uh -huh. Oh, and what is the meaning of weapons? Oh, weapon. Uh, weapons. Weapons. Is, is, yeah, gun, is, guns is pistolas, and web, weapon, weapon, weapon is armas in general. That's right. the yeah. The, it's in almost general, the same thing. Weapon. No. no. Guns. Are, guns are guns. Weapon okay. or weapon. I mean, weapon is weaponry. You know, when you used to play Doom, you know, or any other video game, your weaponry. All the okay. weapons, all the weapons you had. You had bazookas. You had, right, and so many okay. others. Yeah, guns. Seven. Guns are just guns. You know, forty sevens, magnums, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And last one. Be used to. He is used to waking up early. 
So that's the point, guys. Remember using prepositions after these common phrases. Now, again, these are common phrases you can use in a daily basis and don't forget the gerunds. Time is it. Teacher, you can send this uh, on the group? Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. Repeat, I'm on it. Repeat, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Susanna, can you fax? Can you send me the fax? I come in. Ah, I'm on it. How do you say I come it? I come it? I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on yeah. it. There you go. I'm on it. Sure, okay. boss. I'm on it. Thank you. I'm on it. Okay. Thank you. I use that every day at work. Sure, I'm on it. Oh, you can also say right away. So we said, I'm on it. And you can go like, sure, right away. Sure, right on. Like that. So Thank just, you. Yeah, these are things you can use at work every day. Sure, right on. Okay, um, da -da -da. so next. I'll send you a link as well to this class uh, where I took it from. There are other expressions and we continue with prep prepositions after the main verb, like complain about, talk about, think about or of. Now, Something that may be useful as well is that you can separate, you can actually separate um, the preposition and the main verb. I want you to look at this carefully while I'm separating it. Start thinking about possible um, sentences, okay? In this case, we need an object, something, you know, in the middle of the verb and the preposition. So blame somebody for. Can somebody start giving me an example on that one? Oh, God, this thing. Me, teacher. Sure, Kenny, I try. Oh, oh, that's another one. That's another one. Sure. What is I mean, Blaine? Be my guest. Teacher, can I try? Sure, be my guest. Hey, can I share a coffee with you, Susanna? Sure, be my guest. Okay. This is like mm -hmm. saying, sure, mm -hmm. hop, hop in. Hop in. Sure, be my guest. Hop in. Esas son expresiones bien comunes, como, hey, ¿puedo tomarme un café contigo, Susana? Es de compañía ahí que estás tomando café. Sure, be my guest. Claro, dale. Hop in. Dale. Ok. Así como cuando decís, sí, hombre, dale, dale. Right? The same expression. Sure, be my guest. Hop in. Ok. Oh, oh, sorry. I can stop. I'm sorry. Go for it. Sure, go for it. Dale. Todo eso quiere decir dale. Sure, be my guest. Hop in. Three options are very informal, right? Um, no. No, no, no. I mean, si ya saludaste a la persona y todo y está siendo cordial con vos, puedes ocupar esas, esas oraciones. Sure. Claro, no las ocupes todas de un solo. Sure, be my guest. Hop in. Go for it. It's going to be like, sí, dale, 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 dale. <laughs> Typical Salvadoreño. Sí, dale, 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 dale. Oh my God. Okay, that's like my. Suena, me suena a mi suegro diciéndome adiós por teléfono. Vaya, 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 vaya. vaya. <laughs> like, wow. My mother too. <laughs> oh my God, we're so Salvadorians. Okay, so 
blame something or somebody or someone. Remember that somebody and someone is the same thing, okay? Somebody, someone is the same thing. Let's see. Examples. She blamed me for running, ruining, I'm sorry, her potty. She blamed me for ruining her potty. Like that. She blamed me for ruining her potty. What is blame? Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame, blame it on the moon. On the hey, yeah. <laughs> Mini Vanilla. I was thinking about that yeah. too. Mini for silly. <laughs> Blame it on the rain. <laughs> yeah, blame it on the rain. Yeah. Uh huh. So, being guilty for something, right? And the the opposite. If you're forgiven by someone because you were guilty, okay, he can't forgive her for lying to him. Okay. He can forgive her for lying to him. This is very useful as well. Thank for. I want to thank you for helping us. Please pay attention to this fact. Lying, helping, ruining, ruining, ruining. This is not running. Be careful. Okay. Por eso cuando veíamos el presente continuo, yo les decía, don't say I'm running, I'm running. What are you doing? I'm running. Que los gringos piensan que nos está pudriendo. I'm running. Really? Right, is I'm running, running. That's different. Okay. Keep from. What is to keep? In this context, uh huh. Rosa, yeah, go ahead. We need to keep our we need to keep our boss from getting hungry. Keep from. Um, um, keep in touch. It's like mm -hmm. keeping mm -hmm. no, no. Not in, not in this context. Uh, keep okay. from. It's like stay away. Stay away from. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Stay away from. We need to keep our boss from getting angry and saying something stupid. Hmm. Okay. Prevent. Prevent. Prevent from. Prevent something or somebody from. The weather prevented us from going to the beach and see what happened. The hurricane, Julia, just came. So the weather prevented, prevented us from going to the beach. Okay, stop from, don't stop her from enjoying her weekend. Okay, uh, veo caritas de pollito comprado, so let's see what's going on. Vamos a ver, dijo el ciego. What's going on? Ok, eh, ¿qué es lo que ocurre? ¿Qué es lo que, qué es lo que hemos visto en esta clase? Estamos viendo que hay frases okay, que van um, seguidas de un verbo con ing, pero lo más común también suele ser, déjenme ver si puedo cambiar eso, otro color, nada más esa parte, sí, se puede ok, pero no así ok, good yes they just, they just improved si sí, mejoraron la página, ok, super good for, for line for ahora, esto va a ser bien común bueno Recapitulando, tengo un verbo que puede estar en cualquier um, tiempo gramatical, como esto de blamed, ¿ok? Puede estar en cualquier tiempo gramatical, pero la regla para ocupar esto en estas frases es que voy a necesitar que después de, de ese verbo, en esta parte última que acabamos de ver, puede que haya un sujeto, ojo, 
puede que haya un sujeto, luego una preposición y luego el verbo en gerundio, que es lo que estamos, básicamente estamos viendo. ¿Ok? Es lo que hemos visto ahora. Les voy a enviar un link a esta página de donde saqué la información porque me gustó muchísimo la manera en la que estaba distribuida la información ahí. Es lo mismo que han visto en la clase. Con los ejemplos y todo. ¿Por qué no nos dio la página primero? Porque ese era el punto. Algo que me encantó de ayer fue que, que de la sesión de uno a uno fue que Carla me dijo, fue en sincero, me dijo, eso sí me llega. O sea, es como, es como la parte de la clase que, que más le gustan a los no chivo. Me llega. Entonces, si a ustedes les le gusta algo y me dicen, hey, hey, vamos a hacer eso. Eso me gustó bastante. Mire, tal dinámico, lo que sea, ¿no? So, moving on. Tenemos sujeto, verbo en... Cualquier tiempo gramatical. Lo que acabamos de ver es que puedes agregar un objeto en medio de, es decir, entre, entre el verbo y la preposición. Y seguimos con la idea, con el supuesto de que después de acá vamos a agregar un gerundio, que es el tema principal que estamos viendo ahorita, cómo ocupar esos gerundios. ¿Ok? No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta o se siente perdido con el tema, que es que hay ahora o hable para siempre o cómo es. Ajá. I guess no teacher. I guess it's clear. You guess, you guess. Stop guessing. Let's see. El día del examen de 100 preguntas en el avanzado 2, no me decían. Eso no nos lo enseñó. No les han dicho que va a haber un examen a, el, al final de este módulo, que tienen que ir a la academia a tomarlo escrito. ¿No? <risa> Son bromas. Mejor me, mejor me retracto antes de que alguien vaya a decir. Uy, no, es que él dijo, él dijo. No, yo, él dijo, mire, búsquenlo en los videos. Está grabado. No. Ya, ya mañana todos preguntando, Tiche. Ya me ha pasado se lo agarran en serio y no, 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 ok, so, miren, de hecho, esto tiene una estructura, miren, si sí, ya lo analizaron, y esto es la manera de enseñar del jefe, a él le gusta explicar, explicar mucho las cosas así, sujeto, en este caso tengo un modal de negativa, ok, hemos dicho que después de los modales viene un verbo en su forma base, forgive, seguimos con la idea de agregar un sujeto, un objeto, perdón, después del verbo, una preposición y el verbo con ing. Ahora, esto les quería explicar. Usualmente vas a notar que antes de un verbo con ing vas a encontrar esto, el for. Después de for viene un, y esta es una regla bien general, para que no te pierdas si quieres hacer esto. Después de for, uy, se vino para acá esta cosa. Después de for, vamos a ocupar un now. Y después de to, vamos a ocupar un verbo. Esto se los he dicho varias veces también. So, for, noun, to, verb. Y, pero, teacher, lying, ru running, helping, getting, going, and enjoying. Those are verbs, right? Son verbos. Ajá. Pero también, un verbo con ing puede convertirse y en su mayor la mayor parte del tiempo se convierte en un noun. Al agregarle ing, repito, un verbo al agregarle ing se convierte en noun. Veamos. She blamed me for ruining her party. ¿Quién me traduce? Rapín. Microphone, maybe. Mirando sunshine. Ajá. Me acusa por arruinarle su fiesta. Close, close, close. Ella. Past. Edwin, es en past. Ella me. No. Yep. Yeah. Ella me. Me acusó, me acusó por arruinarle su fiesta. You got it. Ella me acusó por arruinarle su fiesta. Very good. Let's see, Gabriela, number two. He can't forgive her for lying to him. Mm. 
él no puede mm, perdonarle por uh -huh. haberle mentido o por mentir. Correcto. Perdonarla ajá, por, mentir. a, por haberle mentido. Por mentirle, por haberle mentido a él. Very good. You got it. Number three, Ada Patricia. I want to thank you for helping us. I want to thank you for helping us. Quiero darle las gracias por ayudarme. Nos. No. Ah, por ayudarnos. <laughs> yes. Me sentí como Vox Pony. Nos. Nos. Very good. Next, we need to keep our boss from getting angry and saying something stupid. Uh, Nelson. We need to keep our boss from getting angry and saying something stupid. Nosotros necesitamos sí. wow. mejorar su que su jefe. Nosotros necesitamos mejorar que su jefe este ambiente y diciendo no I don't know. Mm -hmm. no. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, someone else who got who's got the answer. We need to keep our boss from getting angry and saying something stupid. Oh. Keep what is it? I keep como necesitamos alejarnos. Uh -uh. Keep from keep from it's, it's a synonym of a stay away from is a synonym of avoid prevent como reservarnos o, o, o evitar, evitar. evitar. Exactly. Evitar. avoid evitar que nuestro jefe se enoje se enoje algo estúpido <laughs> exactly exactly alguna cosa estúpida cabal necesitamos evitar que nuestro jefe se enoje y diga algo evitar. estúpido Right. Como you're fire. <laughs> <laughs> que le diga you're fire al esposo y trabajan juntos. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, that's really not good. Okay. Prevent from. The weather prevent us from going to the beach. That's easier. Walter. <laughs> Forget it. Never mind. It's 9.59. Well, I hope you like the the class, you enjoyed the class, try to check the link that I send you, study the link, the topic. I'm staying tonight with Kenya Lara, just for 10 minutes. Yeah, teacher, I don't want to. Okay, uh, okay, good, just 10 minutes, okay? Um, tomorrow is Nelson Stern and so on. So, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good night. Good night. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Okay. Present. Good night. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala de Razo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good night. Good night. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Kenya Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. <laughs> Not good night. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. <laughs> Present teacher. Good Thank night. you. <laughs> good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Hey, good night. <laughs> Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good night. Yes, good night. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez, not here tonight. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night, Susi. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, good night. Good night, Walter. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, good night. Where are you? I cannot see you. Okay, good night. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good night, sir. Good see night. you tomorrow, guys. Okay. Have see some you rest. tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Rest see a lot. Night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. tomorrow.
Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, <laughs> Miss Lara, no, Mrs. Lara, Miss Lara, Miss Lara, I keep getting you married, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so, what's going on? Two days without working. I don't what? even want to talk about that. <laughs> really? Uh, that sad mm -hmm. it is? That sad it is? I mean, because uh, like the last couple of w weeks, I was uh, getting a warning from my from my supervisor. Like, if you are not you know, having this resolve, oh, then you don't need to come back to the site. So I'm afraid oh, if probably God. tomorrow they are not having um you know like a resolution for me maybe i will go there and i and i don't want to go there because you know when i was working i was like um waking up at 4 a.m then i needed to start um, at a.m then going out at 7 p.m and i was getting home like a 7 or 8 p.m so well i have a solution for you <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> no, no, I wanted to tell you, why don't you move to San Salvador? I'm thinking about that. Yeah. Just well, yeah. rent rent here <laughs> is a little expensive nowadays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. someone I know is renting a house, a house near here to Calle Constitución. And he's mm -hmm. renting it. He's renting it for three fifty. That's too low. That's very low for a house. For a mm -hmm. house, it's very low. Yeah. It's three three hundred and fifty. It's a corner house. It's a corner house with three bedrooms, small kitchen, a small patio mm -hmm. inside, uh, a little a respectable living room. You know, for a mm -hmm. family for a family of five maybe or no 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 a four family of four that that's good enough mm -hmm. it's, it's good enough but yeah it's difficult i mean that's a good option um but i think well i'm thinking next year maybe you know around january february um i would try to apply in another place uh, maybe in salvador del mundo i think we'll be fine just if like one hour so yeah <laughs> Yeah, I'm just waiting for it, you know. Uh, I, if you if you want my advice and my experience, this is the perfect season of the year where you want to do that. Let's mm -hmm. not talk about that. Let's not talk okay. about that. <laughs> but yeah, I would recommend you because in January, February, they don't hire. As okay. simple as that. They they in, instead of hire firing, I'm sorry, hiring, they fire people. Mm -hmm. They let go people. Because the season is over. Right now it's big season. You have the Christmas bonuses, you know, everything is love, love, love. And then January, February. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. yeah I I is that I don't wanna, you know, like um get out of this place because it was really hard for me to get this camp. Um, I remember the first time when I was applying, it was like, what am I going to do, right? Because it, it was my first time. And I said, um, okay, it's like two, three hours away from my place, but I think it's a good chance, you know, to get like the experience. And then I will go ahead and apply in another place. But yes, you're right about what you're telling me, you know, as like a, in the high season, they are hiring people. As a, as a former manager, as a former manager of, yeah, the best English academy in El Salvador, I will tell you, do it. Remember that is you don't need them. At this point, you already have the experience. So you don't need the company. They need you. Just that, that's what I used to tell my 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 students, you know. <laughs> when they when they used to go to interviews, they were go they were like, "Hey, teacher, I, I I I'm going to an interview. What do I do? I mean, number one, feel confident. Number two, think about it. They don't no, you don't need them. You don't need them. They need you. And yep, as simple as that. Are you studying at the university or something? 
Not until now. Um, I have been paying debt since I started to work. So like, um, I just like a couple of months ago, like in August, um, mm -hmm. I started to to be saving money, right? To, to save you, money. you started saving money. That's the topic we're we're studying right now. I started saving money. I started saving. Really? Yeah. So that that's good news. Um, mm -hmm. But you, you live with your parents, right? You help your parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm living with them. Um, maybe next year I'm thinking about, um, you know, probably moving to another place, but at the same time, like doing something new and studying the university. They, you know, give me the mm. chance. Yeah. Be smart. Think, think smart. If, for example, you're studying at, at Universidad Nacional, just look for something close mm -hmm. to that place. If possible, if you have a brother, a sister, a family member, or a very good friend, try to join them, you know, on, on this adventure because it's gonna be a big adventure. Have you ever have you ever gone to the university? No. No? <laughs> no. Man, follow my advice. Get a get a partner, get partners, get good friends, don't drink, don't party. <laughs> right now, just do friends to live together, okay? And, and get together with the payments of everything. Mm -hmm. If you find that, if you find it, that I hope you find it, man, you are all set, you are all set. So hopefully go to Sacamil one day, whenever you are free, you know, go walking around Sacamil and, and, and look for an apartment, a room, a room for rent, something mm -hmm. small. Okay. And you will be fine. You'll see. That that's what I did. That's what I did. That's what I'm telling you. It's not easy, especially if you have never lived alone. It's very difficult, yeah. <laughs> but but it's very constructive. And one day you're gonna feel like <laughs> man, I made it. I made it. That's it. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> good, good luck with that Kenny I, if you need advice if you will need help with anything just let me know okay okay thank you <laughs> good night Kenya take care good night see you later bye bye <laughs>